Cyber, top three of Springfield. Um, Ethan Folk, top three of Blono. A yeah. little bit of a rivalry between cities right there, so that's always interesting as well. I'm excited, dude. Kicking top eight off with hopefully a banger set. Hopefully a banger set. Uh, as I was saying, Cyber always talks about how Fo or, um, ZSS loses to Fox and Sheik. And I really do think that Mithra is kind of like Fox and Sheik with a sword. <laughs> okay, but think about it. Cyber says ZSS loses to like everybody. Cyber does like to say this. He is a ZSS down player, but he still does great with it. So it doesn't even matter. When Ethan Phil played against Cam, the thing that we saw him get a lot of his mileage out of was landing Nair with uh, Mithra. Mm -hmm. And we've already seen that a couple times this game as well. It's interesting that he's switching to her already so early, trying yeah. to get an early kill off. Difficult. A B, but nothing. I like this though. They're, they really haven't even tried to feel each other out. They've they immediately gone swinging. to like combo heavy swinging at each other. Beautiful gameplay as always. Now, the thing I love about Cyber, and we always make jokes about it, is Cyber will do everything in threes. <laughs> but he's kind of been working on that. Too. I was literally about yeah. to say that. He will literally just sit there and F-tilt at you until you run into it. Yeah, I know. And I did it. Uh, which, honest to God, isn't that bad. Oh, oh Cyber I'm netting the first stop. I'm killed, actually. I'm going to be honest. That move kind of <laughs> sucks sometimes. That's huge. So, Ethan Foe sticking on uh, Pyro. A lot of people... Double yeah, F-tilt. Double F-tilt. Double F-tilt. Double F-tilt. Let's go. Might have been three. <laughs> Might have been three. Sick. I'm surprised that he Might had uh, stuck with actual uh, Pyro there. A lot of people would switch yeah, off because off of their respawn, game. Area. Yeah. Ass kicks back and forth. <laughs> Oh, fast smash. I feel like you never really this is a little bit more feeling each other out, which is funny that they're doing it on the second stock. I feel like no one in, like, Bloomington, or, well, not just Bloomington, but, like, GRB in general, like, mashes. Like, everyone I've played against, if I get a grab, I feel like they just, like, sit there. In Springfield? Yes. Yeah, I was about to say, Blono people are, like, the sickest mashers of all time. Ah, uh, it's Mount Fever, Blono. Okay, then Mao Fever, like Cam, dude, every single one of them, as soon as you like do anything that they have to mash, you just hear <laughs> It's like a goddamn car. It's terrifying. Ooh, I like the patience to just sit there, wow. but getting hit by a back air. This is rough. We see Cyber rubbing his hair. <laughs> he took off the hat, now it's getting serious. <laughs> That's the Robbie Rav special. That is the Robbie Rav special, actually. Taking off your hat, that's when you know it's time to game. <sighs> Trying to do a hard yeah, call out right getting there. A greedy with the down smash. I'm a little worried for Cyber right now. He's looking like he's just kind of getting out paced. Yeah. And I, I, I like the calmness that Ethan Foe's showing. He's not even rushing him down the entire time. Ethan, he's, he's, he's not fishing for like literally anything. Yep. And, and his techs are on spot right now. And uh, a lot of times Cyber likes to try to read people not teching, um, but he's going to have to try to react or get a read somewhere in here. Uh, I that's how to close that's... this stock, but Ethan Foe's going to take it first. I mean, <laughs> Cyber took the first stock and didn't take another. Uh, oh, that's, that's mean. Oh, uh, honest to God. <laughs> <laughs> honest to God, that's such a rough position to be in. Um, a lot of the times you have to just get up attack, and it's this weird thing where Smash Ultimate players do not get up attack. That, like, that move has don't. like no lag after it, though. I am. Uh, well, I know, but I, like, I would not have tried to challenge it like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. He jumped off and then tried to challenge it. Get up attack is invulnerable, and that's the only reason that you usually have to do that versus it. But uh, you know, if they, it ends and then they just spot dodge, you're put in a hell of a position. Very good move. Shouldn't be like that, though. Why does it have no lag? That's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make the character funny. <laughs> so now they're going to Battlefield. I think this is a smart pick from Cyber. I really do think all, all the triplats really help him. Yeah, definitely. But, I mean, you also got to think, like, Mithra juggles are also going to be just as good. I don't know. Mithra juggle... Uh, she kills off the top randomly. Uh, Mithra in particular because a lot of the times it won't have kill sparks it won't have anything but if they're up on the top you just whack them once at like 70 and sometimes mithra's base knockback is just strong enough to kill and it's insane this is hard yeah but i mean pretty even game so far yeah feeling each other out this time a lot of slower gameplay you know the funny thing that robert just told me is on the uh, bok choy uh, phobos set People were worried about playing all of them on stream because they thought that one was going to take forever, and that was probably one of the quickest I sets even, I I saw. even said it. I was like, this is probably going to be a slower-paced set, and then it, it, was, was, not. it was not at all. 
No, man. Phobos is funny because he plays zoner characters, but man does not zone. I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of oh, wow. What? The entire thing didn't hit? That's insane. Stop he did it again. It. Wow. Why? Bold on him. <laughs> you are crazy. I love to see Cyberman. <laughs> he does not learn, but sometimes it's just... <gasps> Good patience. Oh, that was scary. Every yeah, that is really good yeah. patience. Everybody else moves immediately that's, after that's that. What, that's what Cam was getting caught by earlier, because Ethan Foe would get the footstool, he would miss the tech, and then he would just like instantly start moving, so Ethan Foe would react to his, his movement. Oh, Ethan Foe got those footstools on deck? Crazy. He does have those footstools on deck. He hit it on Cam like a couple times. I like Ethan Foe swinging. Uh, when not on stage because <laughs> a lot of times cyber will go for a really, really lazy Straight like forward there. air just to get a kill yeah and like it's really easy to gimp this character so he has to make sure he doesn't get hit by anything like that scary positioning looking for an air flip kick doing a pretty good job of keeping cyber in disadvantage Ooh. grabbing at nothing a scary position to be in Honest, Ethan's really good at keeping Cyber going coast to coast. I want to see more of that from Cyber. Something that we saw in some of his other sets was his walling out with Zare was so good. And then I feel like we haven't seen it much so far this set. I think it's a lot harder. The character's oh, so fast Most definitely, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. It just looks like Cyber, once it becomes kill percent, has a really hard time connecting anything. As soon as it hits 90 to 100, Cyber just starts... I feel like he almost just started swinging. Yeah. Just looking for like a stray hit. Oh. That's a good up there. That controls everything. A lot of the times when ZSS does that, it's really hard to punish it. But, you know. When you have Pyra Sword. Big ol' sword, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah Fire Sword. Catching the jump That's off a good ledge. Are reading the options? I love Cyber going for a double down smash. <laughs> Similar <laughs> right to game here. one. Cyber yeah. took the first stock, and then now he's on his last. Ethan Foe controlling the rest of the game. Yeah, this is a scary situation to be in. Already in top eight, this is for whoever is going to get fifth. Seventh. Or, yeah. uh, this is for who's going to get seventh. My bad. This is not one of top eight, you goober. Yeah, that's how this works, I know. <laughs> ah, scary. Interesting punish. Wait and then up smash. So ah, I feel like, I like Simon's just throwing out moves right now. He really wants a back air. Um, he knows a lot of his stuff isn't going to kill. And he is fishing for it a little bit. I mean... Oh, foresight. Wow. <laughs> can't call him out, er, wow. Oh, he almost footstooled him again. You can't say Cyber's out of it yet. ZSS can bring back stocks so quickly. That's death right there. And honestly, it's super easy to, well, in quotes, super easy to gimp Pyramidra. Yeah. They just lack that, like, good recovery. I love that down there. Cyber always talks about that down there and about how it's such a good mix-up because the timing's so different it's than dumb. all the other moves. It is dumb is what it is. <laughs> This is the game that's actually taking much longer than you know what else is, You know what else is dumb? What? Pyro up tilt. Uh, it, you can say that about a lot of pyro up tilts. <laughs> you, know, you know what else is dumb? Pyra. Pyra. She do be doing things. But she she, be doing she them do good. be doing things. Can't even complain about it. You gotta wonder, what's the counter pick here? Do you think we run it back to Battlefield? Yeah. yeah. Um, I would, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That answers our question. He wants Battlefield. Um, sometimes you have to say and really let your ego go and say, maybe this person's just better at my own stage yep. than me. Um, maybe a bigger stage would do a little bit better, uh, but I, I really do feel like Cyber's having such a hard time with the rushdown already. Something closer might be faring a little bit better for him. But that's not what ZSS wants. Usually. These grabs are coming out at random. I'm starting to think they're like miss inputs. That's sick. Loser of this gets $15. <laughs> Not even their entry, but, you know, pretty good tournament. <laughs> Smash Brothers. So true, so true. Yeah. Oh. Shout out Top 8 Payout, though. Shout out Top 8 Payout. Shout out Robert. <laughs> Shout out Robbie Rabs. Shout out Robert Rabs. It, it's kind of like this every single time where it feels like Cyber's finally getting a handle on it. And then Ethan Foe just kind of milks the game. You yep. know what I mean? He slows it down, makes... Ooh, that's... Yeah. 
so much time to do things. Okay, you know what though? Ethan Fo took the first stock this time, so now Cyber's gonna win this game. So true, so true. <laughs> uh, he gets man. so much off Nair. I feel like Mithra just does as a character, mm -hmm. but like, wow, Ethan like always follows up off of it. Yeah, he's... Is that... Uh, it's nowhere near dead. What am I talking about? <laughs> You know, that should be more like uh, Bayo, where if they do that type of stuff, the Bash just kills her by accident. <laughs> That's dead. Wow. wow. The nerves are really coming out big, from Cyber right pretty, now. Pretty big whiff, yeah. Yeah. This isn't Cyber we're used to. But that was a really good mash by Ethan Foe. He was out there in a second. I take back what That's I said dead. about GRV mashing. No, nah, this isn't too hard at all for Cyber, but uh, Ethan Foe is definitely making it very tricky to hit him. Very evasive right now. Yeah. He's slippery. Very slippery. <laughs> they even did, or did that ground him and then he like immediately I, uh, got out? I think he like short hopped and it did the like the jump one. Okay. I don't I don't think it grounded him. I was about to say that looks super strange. Cyber randomly can just turn it on though. Yeah. Being able to hit him out of that though and get a kill, oh, that definitely slows him down. Again. Yeah, it definitely hurts, kills a little bit of momentum. Mm -hmm. He just can't get eager. He can't start fishing for things. There it is. Oh, man. Like he converts into so much damage. He's just bleeding him. This is so hard. And his ledge trapping is so good. That's why I felt when he was playing Wolf, but it's like <laughs> tenfold with Pyramithra. Yeah. Scary situation to be in. Almost got him. No punish uh, on the get up attack, did man. He this his is, jump? This is okay. looking pretty rough for Cyber. You gotta think one more straight hit from Pyrot does it. Yeah. Well, we love to see our Springfield boys in top eight. <laughs> I don't wanna call the Kurns on Cyber yet, but uh It's Pyramithra. It's, it's Pyramithra. <laughs> You're it's at a like... hundred. Like you can just spin a wheel or like throw a dart at a board at a kill move and one of those is gonna work eventually. Yeah. Cyber, so Cyber showing a bit of desperation using side B a little bit. But okay, but hey, there it that's is. A stock. Nice little mix up. Yeah, Alright. Cyber can turn it on. ZSS cheese. ZSS let's, cheese. Let's see Come something on. goofy, something silly. Oh no. This is hard. Or oh Pyra man, that's upstairs. really smart right there. The ledge trapping has been ridiculously good by Ethan Foe so far. Getting more off Nair. Cyber's trying to land. Has no lag. Don't challenge it. <laughs> oh, I like that. Like, uh, well, I like that he didn't challenge it. He really said, "Let me do something that covers spot dodge." Because <laughs> every single pyro that I've seen there, every single time they spot dodge immediately after, making sure that they can't get hit by anything else. Because there's no lag on it. That move deserves to have so much lag. Bok Choy Richer. Oh, this wow! Will, this they will be played a good twice one, yeah. 